I've been cynical, oh so cynical Never thought somebody could save me From another fall, from another scar But I'm all healed up, standing steady Welcome to the boating adventure Well, a very good morning to you. It is Saturday the 28th of September 2024. And today I've come to the Sawley Cut. This is opposite Sawley Marina on the Upper Trent. And I've come to an open day. Um, there's a, an organization which I was made aware of uh, a few years ago when I was uh, doing a vlog about a local hire boat company. Uh, during that day I met Andrew Flint and Andy Flint is the organiser uh, uh, the brains behind an organisation called Forces Vets Afloat and the idea of this organisation is simply the, to get um, some narrow boats which have been donated and are in various states of repair to, to, to get them to work on them, make them livable, and then they are given for the use of um, veterans from the armed forces. So the idea is that the narrow boats that have been donated and have been worked on by the organisation to make them habitable and usable are then loaned out to the veterans so they can get on their feet and uh, start them off on a road to uh, recovering their situation. So I think it's a wonderful organisation that has been started locally here uh, around this uh, Sawley Marina area. So they are having a little bit of a, an open day today. It was uh, publicised on uh, Facebook and basically to allow people to come and have a look at their work and uh, be encouraged to either uh, give a helping hand if you can or even to uh, donate some money. There are five of their boats here today that are moored up on the cut and there are two boats that are being lived on currently and they're in the marina and so they're each occupied by uh, some veterans. So we'll have a look at these boats because these are a work in progress. I couldn't see colours, it was all in grey Till you showed me every shade So this is the narrowboat stingray and as you can see it's a most unusual design. This is a, a sea otter which is an aluminium um, narrowboat which means it's a little bit uh, less robust than a steel boat but this one was donated and it's in uh, quite good condition. So this one is going to be allocated to a veteran uh, during uh, October so it's almost ready to go. It's just having a little bit of uh, repair work done to the flooring at the moment. But once that's done, it'll be more or less ready to go. She's uh, 41 foot uh, in length and uh, she has a, a rear uh, bedroom and a galley and that kind of thing. So we'll try and get in there and have a look. I think that front is amazing. had a new uh, canopy put on it in this uh, central cockpit and that was uh, donated by this company here Crazy Monkey Canopies So this is the inside of this uh, stingray and here's the galley. Um, they're sorting out the flooring at the moment so you can see the, the ballast. 
but other than the flooring, it's, uh, it's got a lot going for it. And this would be the rear bedroom. Seems to come with a banjo. <laughs> It's obviously very damp at the moment, they've got lots of uh, things collecting the, the water. These dehumidifier bags, trying to get it all dry. Well today I'm with uh, Andy Flint, and Andy Flint uh, is the brainchild, I think you'd say, <laughs> from the, of the, uh, okay. the Forces <laughs> Vets Afloat. And uh, I think I met you some time ago when I was doing uh, a, a vlog of uh, Tiller Girl over there. Yes, yeah, one of our sponsors. <laughs> Lovely movie. And uh, it, it's been on my mind to come and uh, do something about this organisation because I think it's a fantastic thing that they're doing. So well, let's uh, just explain what it's all about. Uh, well, basically, we take boats that have either been donated to us or the owners have got to a stage where they can no longer look after the boat. We do our best to do it up. We're not talking perfect, we're talking the basics. Yeah. Heat, light, somewhere to have a wash, somewhere to cook a meal. Then we uh, give the boats, not as a full-term solution, as a temporary solution to veterans who have got nowhere else to nowhere else to put their heads. Yeah. So this is, well I'll say we've got five boats on the waterways here at the moment. We've got two in the marina and we've got the other five sat on the wall here waiting for renovation. So how do you get to know about people who actually, uh, you know, in that situation? Uh, well, it was um, sort of a lucky thing on Facebook, to be honest. Yeah. I put a post on, there was a boat that was half sunk. Yeah. I put a post on suggesting that the two guys who were arguing about the boat should do it up together and give it to somebody who really needed a home. And I don't like to use the word went viral, but <laughs> it got a lot of interest. And yeah. next thing I know, I've got people messaging me saying, if you want to do this, we'll, we'll try and make it happen. Okay. And so the, uh, the people that actually get to uh, um, have a boat for a, a short length of time, where, where do they, how do you get to know about them? Okay, they come to us with other charities like the Royal British Legion yeah. or charities such as that who say we've got a veteran that would be interested in your programme. Yeah. Would you be interested in helping them? And if we've got a boat spare, we try yeah. his best. Okay, so um, they, they have to be homeless? Or they have to be homeless or in very difficult living circumstances. Yeah. Okay. Um, we we do like to make sure the put that doesn't sound bad. We'd like to make sure the person's homeless, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. can't we can't just give boats to people who want boats. That was one of the things that um, yeah. we had to point out when we first started. Yeah. What what do you think the benefits are of uh, somebody like uh, who's been in the forces and maybe you know in, in that situation? What's the benefits of them? Apart from a roof on the head. Okay, well, a lot of people come out of the forces, as well, I've learned this in starting and yeah. with something called PTSD, yeah. um, where they really need a peaceful environment, somewhere that's not going to be loud or surprising, or and it's just their own space out yeah. on the canal. I mean, I love living on the canal, I find it peaceful, I yeah. absolutely love living here. So it's a brilliant, brilliant thing for veterans who are suffering to come and do. Yeah. yeah. I can see that because you know you get out on the canal and it, it's a different sort of environment. Well, you, you can't you can't do anything fast, can no, you? No, and it's yeah, so it's pretty good, yeah. And and how do you get the boats? <laughs> We've got a wonderful boat tower who is part of the committee called Pete Ballinger. Yeah. Who has never ever charged me a penny for shifting okay. a boat. I keep shouting at him, saying, "Let me at least pay for some some fuel," but he doesn't do it. He insists on doing it for free. Okay. So the boats come here. They say. We've had a boat called Sammy B that's currently in the marina with a veteran. Yeah. That is probably still to say I still can't believe the lady gave it us. It's in that good condition. Right. Yeah. That it's well, it's nicer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, but every boat that we've had up and down here has been donated to us. Yeah. And uh, in various states of uh, repair. Yeah, as you can see, some yeah. of, some of them are quite rare. Yeah. Some of them are quite bad. But, so, so how many veterans have you actually had living on the, the At boat? the end of this month, yeah. we'll have rehomed the fourth. Fourth, yes. And we have been going four years, so we average about one a year. One a year, but yeah. We've only started this year rehoming because we've only got the boats of sufficient standard yeah. this year to okay. rehome. So it, it takes time, doesn't it? I it mean, does. as, as a boat owner, <laughs> we all know it takes 
20 times longer <laughs> to do anything on the yes, boat. Yes, definitely. And it's uh, 10 times the cost at least. Um, you mentioned boat and the price goes up. <laughs> All the time. So how can people get involved with your organisation? Well, please go to the website, which is www.forcesvetsafloat.co.uk. Yeah. Um, if you're unable to come down and lend a hand, any skills you have, it doesn't matter if you don't have skills. We could do with people cleaning, people painting. If you are unable to make it here and you still want to help, we have got a GoFundMe yeah. to help us with the renovation. But we, I'd say all the time, people's time and effort is much more valuable than the money. Yeah. So we prefer you to come and get stuck in and be hands on where you can. Yeah. Well, I, I wish you all the best with this because I think it's a, a really good. I, I've, I've known veterans myself who've got themselves into, you know, through no fault of their own, into difficult circumstances when they've left the forces. Yes. And by the very nature of their lives, their their families are often, you know, quite split up and um, it's hard for them when they come back from services to... No, a lot of time they've never even paid their own bills. They no. They don't about mortgages. No, oh, just to fit help. in and, uh, you know, I've come across some quite uh, sad cases where you know, it hasn't gone well for them at all. Um, and I think uh, with the uh, traumatic uh, experiences of that, it's, it's very difficult. And we're just getting to grips with it, I think. Yep. Well, no, let's say so we're going from strength to strength. We're hoping, we're the current Mayor of Elwash's charity this year. So we're hoping to really, let's say, stamp down on it this year and get us properly established. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have a look around the boats now and see what work's involved. So thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Thank you. So if I ever lose my mind, I'll be fine because you're my silver lining. And if my world comes crashing down, I'll be fine because you're my silver lining. So this is the next one to look at. This is a narrowboat Capricorn. And on first inspection from the outside, it looks like it's in a bit of a state, but actually it isn't because uh, the engine inside is sound. It's been very well serviced apparently, and uh, is quite uh, quite good. And the uh, hull has been inspected, and that's sound. So it's basically cosmetic, really. It needs uh, an awful lot of work done on the outside to bring it up to some kind of uh, <laughs> standard. So there's a lot of uh, cleaning and, and rust and painting to do and the same on the inside but it's expected that it will make a, a reasonable home for a veteran in the very near future and it's been worked on uh, constantly by one of the volunteers who's kind of taken it under his wing and uh, spent many hours uh, on it uh, doing it up so it's the Ballinger towage and steerage services who uh, assist the uh, charity in uh, helping them to get their boats moved and brought here and this one was uh, boat was uh, given to uh, Pete of Ballinger uh, towage and it was inspected by him and accepted uh, on behalf of the uh, forces vets and uh, just over there is a uh, narrowboat Tilligill. I did a vlog about uh, narrowboat Tilligill a few years ago now and uh, I spoke to the owner Mel who lets her out as a, as a holiday boat and we very often uh, come across her on the cut and people enjoy a really good time on her. Mel and Tilligirl Canal Holidays are one of the main sponsors of the Forces Vets Afloat project. I'm alright again, like a child again. Now the universe is a wonder. I don't care where we go, don't care what we do. As long as you're with me and I'm with you, I couldn't see colors. Summer on a rainy day Like there's nothing left in my 
this is a, a recent addition to the charity. Uh, in March this year they were given this uh, 52 foot narrow boat and it's currently called uh, Clover. And uh, she still has a three year boat safety certificate. And it's uh, fully furnished inside. And it just needs uh, some paint, a uh, lick of paint and uh, it needs some work done around the, the windows so with some TLC this is another boat that will be uh, ready to go soon and allocated to a veteran and then we have uh, a boat called Canute this is a Viking uh, 23 and obviously not a narrow boat but a uh, uh, GRP and this was donated to the charity by a friend of mine and uh, a long-standing subscriber of the channel uh, Keith Prosser so he uh, donated uh, this boat to the charity and what they're going to do with it I think is they're going to uh, restore it and then they're going to uh, sell it and that will uh, raise much needed funds which will help to restore the narrowboats so this is more of um, a financial investment for the uh, charity so that they can uh, raise additional funds. So it's being worked on at the moment by uh, a volunteer. Okay, so this one is uh, Narrowboat Daisy and uh, it was built in 1921 and it's 70 foot long and it's in need of some real tender loving care it's had quite a bit of work done it or done on it already uh, it had some work done on the bottom but uh, it has actually uh, still got some leakage on the bottom so that's what they're going to try and sort out and it also uh, it's got a tarpaulin over it because it does take in water from the top but once it's sorted again it will make a fantastic home for somebody Hi, yeah, you're all right I'm fine how are you fine thank you good good to see you it's uh, got so wet inside they're having to uh, clear out a lot of the stuff and uh, vacuum out the water so it's quite a big job and it's still listing uh, at the moment okay so this is Gary how, how did you get involved with this organization basically um, a friend of, me sent, of mine sent me a link yeah um, on Facebook and said have a look at this yeah and here you are here I am <laughs> that's about it <laughs> So have you been involved with boating and why not yourself? Yeah, I've owned the boat in the past. So you, you know what's what then? Roughly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just manual labour, isn't it, to provide? Well, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are the people here who uh, help doing all the uh, towage. This is Ballinger Towage Steerage Services. And that's their tug. So they're very involved with this uh, charitable work. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and a look at the Forces Vets Float uh, project here at uh, Sawley Marina or just on the outside of Sawley Marina. Lots of people involved with this project, lots of different organisations, uh, people like uh, River Canal Rescue, uh, Narrowboat Tilligale and you've also got the Canal and River Trust who allow the uh, charity to uh, moor their boats on this uh, stretch of the cut here at Sawley. So I hope you've enjoyed this video 
If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then please consider doing so and it's completely free and it's a great encouragement to us to keep making these uh, videos. If you've liked the video then please give us a thumbs up because that helps to move the video up the YouTube algorithm and more and more people get to know about the channel. So thank you very much for watching and uh, as always do take care. I'll be fine cause you're my silver lining mm -hmm. I'll be fine cause you're my silver lining